In this video, we will be covering the following topics. The creation of SFDT within the portal framework, portal framework data types, portal framework setup, and finally, SFDC setup. This video serves as the demonstration of the first stage of setup for SFDC. This will include both the portal framework setup and the SFDC setup screen, as well as the effect that these can have on the functionality of SFDC. Firstly, we need to navigate to the portal framework application screen. As you can see, this is blank. In order to activate SFDC, I will need to add it in this screen. So I'm going to select new. Within the application ID, I'm going to enter SFDC. Same again for name. I'm going to set this as my default application within language code. I'm going to input English. Finally, I'm going to enable request logging. This will allow technology management to assist you should any issues arise. Once complete, I need to select application devices from the ribbon. Here, you'll need to add a new line for every device that you wish to use with SFDC. So I'm just going to add a 5 in device ID and a description. In the description you can be more specific, such as the name of the machine centre that the device is going to sit on, but I'm just going to continue with the pattern here. From here, I'm going to select OK to save. Next, we need to move on to our portal framework data types. These are the data types that will be assigned to each of the devices that are created within SFDC, meaning that I am, for example, able to specify which machine centre and operator should be on a device. As you can see, I already have some code set up. To add a new code, select new from the ribbon, input a code, and a description. At this stage, no further information needs to be input. Now we need to move on to the SFDC setup page. Fast tab is the general fast tab, and in here I need to select my portal framework application ID, which we set up in the first part of this video. So I'm just going to select SFDC from the drop down. Then we have our data selections. The first fields we need to fill in are the data selection fields. These relate to the screens that the SFDC user will need to work through before coming to the output screen. These essentially act as the default selections. If you wish to have devices locked to a certain machine or work centre, this will need to be done within the Portal Framework application screen, which we will come back to in a later video. Within my selections, I firstly want my operators to have to select their machine centre, then their production order, and then finally their operator code. Now we come on to the tick boxes. The first one here is to show operations with no quantity to start. I'm going to leave that one as blank, as I only want to be able to view production orders that I am actually able to start. Next we have show production orders from work centres. So that means that if my parent work centre of the machine centre that I'm currently working on has a production order, I am able to see it. And finally, we have exclude operations from other devices. So this means that if operations are currently active on other devices with other operators, I'm unable to see. So I'm going to tick this and also to show production orders from Work Centre. Next we come on to the output screen fast tab. So here I'm going to activate to allow scrap, buy products and device switching. All of which are covered in their own videos later on in the playlist. Next we have post output during setup time. Again, this will be seen in more detail within the output video within this playlist. So I'm going to leave it blank here. And finally, we have the item tracking tick boxes. These are going to be covered in more detail within the lot tracking video in this playlist. So for now, I'm going to leave them blank. Next, we have the operators fast tab. So the first tick box we have here is to show number of expected operators. This should be ticked if you know that you're going to have multiple operators active on a production order at any one time. So I'm going to tick it. 
Next, we have post operator dimensions. We're going to cover operator dimensions in more detail in the next setup video, so I'm going to leave it blank here. But essentially, it will help with your SFDC reporting. Next, we have post operator time cost. Now, if operators have been set up to have costs and you want them to be posted, that's where you're going to tick it. But we're going to cover that in more detail in the next video. So again, I'm going to leave it blank. And finally, we have allow user to add note. If left blank, note will not be added within SFDC, but can still be added in NAV and viewed in SFDC. So I'm going to leave that blank for now, but more information on this can be found on the notes and instructions video later on in the playlist. Next, we have the stock codes fast tab. As you can see, these have been pre-populated. And we're going to cover these stop codes and exit codes in more detail later on in the playlist. But essentially, three codes must be added here. One for when a production order has been completed, which here I've set as complete. Next, for when a setup of a machine has been completed, which again, simply here is setup. And lastly, for an end of shift, which again is just shift. This is going to help with your reporting, so keep them as simple as possible. And finally, we have the device status colours fast tab. Now, in the last part of this video, we're going to be able to see the effect that this has. But in my example, my ready and running statuses are green. My stop status is red to make it more visible on the shop floor. And finally, my planned stop status code is going to be orange. So this means that your output screen when it is in one of these states, we'll have a completely different colour, which will make it clear to everybody on the shop floor exactly what's happening with this machine. If any of these codes are left as blank, they will default to blue. Finally, I will select the Calculate Quantity Available to Start action from the ribbon. This will allow me to start using the SFDC output screens. Now that the setup screen has been completed, I thought that we could have a quick run through the SFDC output screens and the effect that my selections from the setup page have made. So if you remember, within the data selections field, I set my default to have to select machine centre, then a production order, and then finally to choose my operator code. So we'll see that now. So my machine centre is going to be Brian Walton. I'm going to choose this production order line in the middle. And finally, we're going to select our operator. So I'm just going to select myself on this screen. Now, the first thing you'll notice is probably the background colour. So as you remember in the device status colours fast tab of the SFD setup screen, we had to assign our colours. So here, because mine is running, it's shown as green. So I'm just going to start so we can see our other actions pull through on the navigation pane. So I'm just going to click into notes. As you can see here, I'm able to view notes, but because I selected not to have to be able to add notes within SFDC, I'm unable to do that. Components are standard and will be revisited in a later video. I did activate by products. So in order to access this, I'm just going to tick my production routing line and go into by products. You can see here I'm able to post any by products that may be available as part of this process. I'm just going to cancel it there. Output, that's standard. I did enable scrap and that's something that we'll revisit in a later video. Stop is standard and I did also enable to switch device. You can see along the bottom of the screen the operator that I am. As I selected to have multiple operators, if I select add, I'm able to select a second operator, so I'm just going to put operator 20 in. You can see they've now pulled through as that onto another line. If you wish to learn more on the output screen and its functionality, please watch the accompanying output screen video in the playlist. Thank you for watching this video, which is the first part of our SFDC series. If you wish to learn more on how setup can be customised, Continue watching the next video.